Okay, today I'm going to be crushing a vacuum chamber in the hydraulic press while it's under vacuum. So I've had a lot of requests to do this. I've tried to figure out a way to do it. So I'm using my homemade vacuum chamber that I used when I put my arm inside of it. So I'm gonna use this homemade vacuum chamber, put it under vacuum, and then crush it with the hydraulic press. So I'm a little bit scared about doing this one because I'm expecting a huge implosion as soon as it breaks and glass to go everywhere. Um, that's because once it's under vacuum and we get very little air inside, the air will rush in at very great speeds. It can approach the speed of sound or even faster as the air rushes in to the broken glass and that will essentially accelerate all the broken glass pieces so that they hit together and then they essentially explode. So it should be an implosion explosion and it's made out of glass so that's kind of scary. So first let's test out our vacuum chamber by putting some marshmallows in it. Okay, I got my marshmallows in. I'll put the lid on, turn on the vacuum chamber, and we should see those marshmallows expand if our vacuum chamber's working right. Okay, turn on the chamber. Yep, it's working great. Look at those marshmallows. <laughs> That looks like it's working great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the vacuum, keep it under vacuum, and while it's under full vacuum, I'm going to crush it with the hydraulic press. So I'm also going to be filming with my slow motion camera, so we should get a good slow motion implosion explosion happening. Okay, let's turn on our vacuum chamber. Okay, it's equilibrated now. We're getting the full vacuum. We can start the crushing process. Okay, crushing a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> Look how that just shattered. Look at the marshmallows. <laughs> they became raisins instantly. These are the marshmallows that were inside of them with glass shards embedded in them. They instantly became raisin marshmallows <laughs> as soon as the pressure got back in. That's so cool. Okay, so what happened there, why these raisins look like that is because when they were in the vacuum chamber, we let them equilibrate for a while, and so all of the air that used to be inside of the marshmallow got sucked out. So essentially there was a vacuum in the marshmallow, and then as soon as we exploded the vacuum chamber, all of the atmospheric pressure came back onto the marshmallow, and it just made them raisins like that among imploding glass. That was awesome. Luckily I had my trusty bulletproof shield in front of me. So this is embedded glass into the polycarbonate from the exploding glass. So this is pure polycarbonate, the main component of bulletproof glass. And this, this glass just embedded itself into it. Okay, I have quite the glass mess to pick up now. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> it actually wasn't that loud. It just sounded like a dull thump when it went off. I thought it was going to be a really loud explosion. 
Hey, thanks for watching again. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button. And you can comment in the comment section with what you'd like to see me do next. I did this one because I saw a lot of comments saying to crush a vacuum chamber in my hydraulic press. So leave me some comments with some good ideas and I'll see you next time.